I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. Slim Savage, Slim Lincoln, Slim Nick Infinity Don't need you to confirm what I'm finna be I can wind it down with my enemies I can show the blind what I get to see I can teach the why something interesting Change the paralysis, not feeling me I can close the fine identity Chrome Bang, Soul Plane, your dog Dre gon' die I ain't gon' lie, when them droughts came Shit, robberies with fines was into and I see a lot of niggas out of work, so I figured that this non-essential. I need all the info. Oh, let's get, oh, let's get, let's get right to it. Let's, let's, let's get right to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You loading? I'm loading. You loading it? I'm loading. You loading? Nah, 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 nah. Is this thing on, nigga? Yeah. Well, it's on, nigga. Mm-hmm. Let's get it on, nigga. Mm -hmm. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang got my dog with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Bow, but uh -huh. apparently I don't know tournaments. Bow. Okay, 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 okay. Um, first of all, salute to you, URL. You know, all the battle rappers that did their thing. I wanna um start this because I know I know where we go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know how the energy, you know what I'm saying? The energy, I know we get we get a little crazy with it sometimes, expressing our opinions. But I wanna say salute to all the MCs first and foremost. Thanks. Um a lot of y'all y'all came out, did y'all thing. Uh, I like all the battles from this particular version of it right here. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people brought hunger. We had some fire people. We had, you know what I'm saying, some really surprises. Yes. And I want to say salute to y'all. You know what I'm saying? No yeah. hate involved. I know, you know, and the thing is, this week right here, I really watched the battles. I didn't take no notes. Mm -hmm. I didn't take no bars because I felt like, yo, a lot of the times we do all these intricate bars, writing down bars, writing down this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. And then we're like, y'all hating. Y'all hating. Yo, we getting called it. haters and we taking all the bars down. So you know what I said? Fuck that. I'm not writing no bars down. Mm. We just gonna speak it from the mind, from yeah. the heart, how we feel. You mm. know what I'm saying? And then we'll just take it from there. Yeah. My guy, you hear early what we talking about. Listen, man. Ultimate Madness Week 2. Alright? Now, I just want to go off the bat saying I was wrong. Mm. I was wrong. Last week... I was saying that, you know, I believe that last week was going to be the better okay. of, you know, better of the first round. Yes, sir. I was way wrong. Mm. Last week, we got a 30 in there. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, sorry, it was a unanimous decision in there. This week, it was all debatable. It was yeah, all difficult. Yeah, man. Uh, last week they left it to the crowd. This week there was there was a fifth judge. It was a mystery judge. Right. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. A lot of the battles that I didn't think was gonna be that good, they were actually the better battles. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? So I have no problem being wrong. Uh, Overall, okay. this is about an eight. Yeah, yeah, fire. All right, so first of all, before we even really get into what we get into, RiceGangClothing.com, log on for the merchandise, you heard me right. We got uh, some original, y'all been asking for these forever. Original logo, the black Rice Gang hoodies are, will be back on the website. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the GOAT Jordan joints will be on the website. And we got some other things coming on there, so you know, Cop up, and, and a matter of fact, what we're going to do for the support and the love, we'll be throwing a couple free joints, you know, so if you order something, you might get two. You order a shirt, you might get another shirt. You order a hoodie, you might get a shirt. Order a shirt, you might get, I don't know, uh, but there will be a lot of stuff going out this week. Salute to everybody who does support and has supported. Mm. But, so we're going to jump right into this, man. Um, Ace Amin versus Bad News. Mm. Um... I'm gonna let you go. You know what I'm saying? Then I let's let's, let's do it like that. I always be you know what I mean. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. So I'm gonna let you give me yours, and I give you mine. I mean, Ace Amin versus Bad News. I think it was a good battle. Okay. Um, it's a it, to me. If I was just watching it with no judges, mm -hmm. it, it could have went either way. Right. And uh, for that, I I I gotta commend both of them. Right. For uh, for putting in that work, the tension was there. Mm -hmm. But there was something that was evident that uh that that I I really wanted to touch on. Go. And that is um vet moves. Mm -hmm. All right. Now Ace I mean in the face off, he had a Manila folder on the table. Okay. And I guess you know back and forth they was going talking about what's in the folder, what's in the folder. They was trying to go over the movie. What's in the box? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Was that seven? Okay. Yeah, but uh, uh, uh but basically it's like whoa well, I'm, I'm gonna talk about it or am I not gonna talk about it? Well in the battle. Ace I mean didn't mention not a damn thing in that folder. He ain't right. say nothing. Mm -hmm. But what he did do, he did kind of rattle or got underneath bad news of skin. Cause whatever was 
Bad News thought was in that packet, he thought he was about to get exposed. So he decided to say something in the second round about it. Craziest part, Ace ain't say nothing. Right. Now, Whew. it's Whew. crazy, like you said, uh, he addressed something that he, that, he addressed something that didn't even get addressed, mm -hmm. but he had to write that at the last minute, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, from what I've seen, though, uh, Bad News was cooking. Ace, I mean, I think that I had the battle. I'm just calling like I am saying whatever the case may be. I had it split 1-1 one, one yep. going into the third, yep. and I preferred what Ace I mean did in his third. Yep. That's just me, though, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a judge. I got no 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 buying power over it, and I got no dogs in the fight. The only mm -hmm. ones I can, I'm from the Bronx, so don't get that fucked up. But in this particular situation, um, Ace I mean, they both had a little, like, did they? Did Ace I mean have some choppy, choppy, choppy? It, it, wasn't, it wasn't stumbly. I think that that might be his thing. Oh, you know, what I'm saying? I think that just might be like just like how chess, how you think he's okay, about to, like, okay. especially when he was disconnect and disconnect, mm -hmm. and, I, and I get respect. I get respect when I disconnect, but yeah. I disconnect. Like, like it's just like sometimes your brain yeah. moves faster than your mouth moves, oh. so it's like you know, I, I get that. that Authentic you fraud gimmick. Mm -hmm. Your fraud gimmick. The fraud gimmick. The fraud gimmick. Like, 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 like he's he's not like stumbling, but he's like going really fast. But yeah. I like what uh, Ace I mean did mm. i like that uh i do now if i remember bars i'll say them yeah but i don't really i ain't got no notes and yeah. i'm i'm happy i don't right fuck the writing notes yeah you niggas is about to get lottery cash with no notes with no notes and there's gonna be a reason for that there's gonna be yeah, a reason for that it is what it is because so. i figure we write all these notes down <laughs> hey niggas is on twitter getting mad and all this shit so you gonna take it how it comes well i like that you the, the kick back or kick you back to wherever you got shot at mm -hmm. i did like that mm -hmm. um but overall, scale of one to ten, battle was about eight. eight, 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 eight. I, yeah, I, I say yeah. I, I would say it's about a seven and a half okay. because I kind of it's because I over I overhyped it right. in my mind. I'm thinking that you know bad news was going to be bringing out you know a, a, a different type of bad news. I just felt as though bad news was the same bad news. Right. Ace I mean was supposed this was supposed to be his breakout. No, uh, no debate, and you supposed to kill bad news. That's and, and I didn't get that vibe. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's no hate to Ace. Ace, you already know I'm. We can address this on on Twitter. You know what I mean? But at the same time, where you were supposed to be the shoe in the wind, whew, bad news had you in the corner. A good at the end of that second round, it it was about to get dark. Right. But, Ace I mean come, came through, he prevailed. They left it up to uh they uh they uh they had it a uh, 3-1 in mm -hmm. that decision. Okay. So, you know, so there's no need to debate it. Ace I mean won. Right, 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 right. Um overall, like I said, good battle. Mm -hmm. I definitely liked it. Uh to me, they both um it could have went either way though. I yeah. seen, I've seen people saying that bad news got robbed, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let them get too far ahead of you. I see people saying that you know they felt like like Ace won or whatever the case may be. I won't uh, jump into that one. I won't. Jump I'm not jumping into that bag because I got no dog in the fight. Nope. But the next battle. Yes. Oh, the next battle. Oh man. Uh, Jay Kruger versus the Fonz or Fonz. Um, yeah. Cleveland stand up. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. I, we, when we did the prediction, I'm still gonna drop our predictions, you know what I'm saying? Um, but before the battle, I know you like Jay Krugman, what Jay Krugman was able to do versus his in his PGs with Kid Chaos, yeah. and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, um, TY, yeah, yeah. So he, he he's punch heavy, yeah. Um, you know, he's got a lot of uh, potential, yes. Um, what's what what, what 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 happened today? Talk to me about it. I'm gonna tell you exact, or or at least I'm gonna tell you what I felt in the battle. I felt as though that the one thing that uh, they asked in the beginning of the, uh, of the event, they asked the judges, what exactly are you looking for? And the one thing that I said that I was looking for is carefully crafted material for the opponent. And I just felt as though that Jay Kruger's bars could have went to anybody. Mm -hmm. Like it didn't have enough funds. For, like even, you, you know, I'm not looking for Fonz flips, but at least let's talk about, you know, how many face-offs they had. They had about three, four face-offs. They had a face-off outside of, you know, outside of the, the major platform. You know, something like that where it could have resonated to give it more personal. I wanted Jay Kruger to get a little bit more personal. Okay. Even though Fonz wasn't as personal, right. he was more explosive. And in that sense, the simpler bars 
with the heavier conviction, mm -hmm. it just trumped over what Kruger was saying. Kruger had bars. Mm -hmm. It could have just went to anybody, but the fact that Fonz had a lot of stuff about Kruger, one of his biggest haymakers was a Kruger line. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, they said, um, they said, uh, uh, Kruger killed niggas in his sleep. Mm -hmm. Good thing this is on caffeine. Caffeine, yeah, like that's. That, that right there, that's a haymaker. People in the uh, the people that was there or was in the background, they they was going crazy for it. I don't know. It's just I I could edge that battle could also be debated too. Mm -hmm. But I can see why uh, the decision was made for Fonz. I kind of had Fonz in that second round. There was that man. I had I had Tay Rock vibes. I had Rum Nitty second round chills. Like you get what I'm saying? Like how the hell did you leave the building? First of all, Fonz, who are you? Because uh, I didn't know who you was at first time. My God! You picked you picked Jay Kruger to win. I did. Cleveland, this is for you. <laughs> Cleveland, this is for you. Cleveland, this is for you right here. Don't you even worry about it. We'll put the Cleveland on. You know what I'm saying? You get your Cleveland jersey. And you get the L. You know what I'm saying? We had to bring it out for you. So, you know, because Fonz really went crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, we'll, we'll put this I'm here. I'm not going to hold it. No. We're, you're not going to hold, hold it? hold it. Listen, so, not hold all right, so, 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 we're going we gonna to keep it around. It could be debated, right? but yes. But, but okay, so, 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 here's the deal, right? <laughs> Cleveland, <laughs> this is for you. Uh, we're going to leave that right there. So, no. <laughs> so, uh, what I will say is this, right? While the battle was close and you could have, you could have potentially picked either side, I will say this about the Fonz, or uh, Fonz. Mm. I keep saying the. But it's the fun, funds, right? You think you think it, it, <laughs> but uh, but I'm, what I will say is this: first round, I had Kruger winning. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because Fonz didn't get crazy, crazy, crazy until the second round. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like the first round, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna need a little more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was liking his punches. Mm -hmm. I, I was feeling the Av Nitty, uh, Av Nitty punch. You know what I'm saying? Mac Myron punch. I was feeling that punch. You know what I'm saying? Back, I was yeah. liking the back to backs. Mm -hmm. But I just needed a little bit more. Right. But when he got in that second round, said a lot of niggas done lost their job. So this non-essential. I was like, oh, yeah. I was he like, some cool oh stuff. my god. He had some cool um, bars in that second round. But in the same in the same breath, I had Fonz edging the first round. Oh. And god. I had Kruger winning the third. So what does that mean? It's debatable. Mm. I'm just I'm just saying it. Person like and and, and and this is and this is no slight to either one. Y'all made this battle really really good. Right. Had the potential to be one of the best battles of the night. To me it was. It, it, to me it was. I you, picked the better battle of the night. It was to me the battle. Of the night. I can I can I can I can agree with that. As far as but, but it just shows that you know sometimes that performance it has a little bit more of an edge than that penmanship. You know what I'm saying? Fonz and Kruger. Especially for our second round, number twenty-five thousand dollar balls. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I need the, I need second round fines all three rounds because we're gonna get into that conversation once we finish doing the recap. We spend the block. We spend the block. We're going to, um, we're going so to. while I'm not gonna like give you the L, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it, it, the L is usually when you get, you know, y'all wanna know what I happened. Gotta smoke. Nah. Got smoke. Mm -hmm. Um, that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> I'll start off with uh, salute to both guys. Uh, Jay Kruger is gonna have. A good good run yeah um but what I will say and I'll even go back to uh, the the first battle um, and I'll give constructive you know what I'm saying constructive of what I think uh, they they need mm. I think ace needs to get to the punch a little quicker because mm. um, someone like if you have a long drawn out setup mm -hmm. and it's like uh, uh, the connected, the connected, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Directed, directed, the automatic, the automatics, or the autographic, or turn the automatic. And when you get to that last line, if you did all of these words that was like con like big words, and you get to that punch and it doesn't and get crazy it. like that, you would wasted four to six bars mm -hmm. getting to two to one mm -hmm. point. I'm not a battle rapper. I mean, I am one of the old Charlie Clips, <laughs> but uh, I, 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 I can understand that when it comes to the pen. Yeah. With bad news, I feel like he needs more moments. Like he needs to create. Like he had the line about uh, the the ace paid in full, you know, body yeah. different. That yeah. was fire. That was fire. And then he had like some other joints in there, but it needs. I think he needs to be more consistent as far as like like to me. This was one of the better bad news that I've seen. Yes. Like he yes. was fire throughout. Yes. And he could have. Yes. He could have. If they even won this battle, I wouldn't have felt no way about yes. it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I so. feel like, uh, and I don't want to cut you off, but I feel like honestly, and this is for both of y'all. I think for y'all to be as 
as, as explosive as those face-offs were, y'all might want to think about sparring with each other. Like, for real. Because the, the thing that I feel like bad news lacks, and, uh, and it is, to me, it is the connection of the bars. He does, he does have lines, but there's no build-up to that line. It's just... It's just smack and straight to the point. But then, it, but if you're gonna be that kind of rapper, mm -hmm. you gotta have bombs. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like Mac Myron has bombs. There are Ab bombs has like that. Bombs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if you dropping just line, 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 you better be dropping haymakers. You this know what is saying? true. But what I'm saying is, with but with Ace, it's the same thing. Where it's a he does really good building the house, mm -hmm. but the overall construction of the house it looks a little wobbly. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if they were to spar with each other, they could actually blend a lot of that stuff together, and they could actually be. They, if they learn from each other and from that matchup, I think they would be good. Same thing well, with Fonz and Crew. Well, with Fonz, yeah, I think that would be dope. But with Fonz, I feel like his first, I think his first needed to be tighter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even though you might have gave him the first, I just felt like the first, it was like, if you were going to give me a second like that, you got to you got to stretch that product and give yeah, me that. You got to start you off like that. You can't just give me one crazy, because if you give me one crazy round, if you put him in front of a vet, there's a lot of vets. Like a Charlie Clips is definitely one. Yeah. He knows how to get punched in the mouth the first round, but win the next two. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Tay Rock, he's known same he thing. can get punched in the mouth the first round, and win still the next come two. back in the yeah, same you know round. What I'm saying? Like he's done that. Like even versus Gichi Gotti. Mm -hmm. That Gichi Gotti round that he had against Tay Rock would have buried most MCs. You yes. know what I'm saying? But he took that punch in the mouth, was able to come back, get the second, and mm -hmm. make the third debatable. Yep. You have to have that spread across the board. And that's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like and and Fonz is gonna be good. Mm -hmm. I think that the only thing that Fonz needs, Fonz needs looks. He's not getting, he hasn't really yeah. got the looks. Yeah. On URL, no disrespect, he got J400. When you get when you get matchups like that, there's certain MCs, when they give you a matchup like that, they're not really fucking with you like mm -hmm. that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it is what it is. I'm with you. He needs matchups. To, to, like that Av matchup, mm -hmm. I saw Av say that, you know, he, if Fonz is mad consistent, he'll get that. That he needs a matchup like an Av that's gonna really bring that light to him. I don't. But, I, I see glimpses of that. Like I see glimpses of Av and Fonz, but I, I that one that one have to wait. He gotta hone that craft. He Fonz got. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can we can see it though. But, but the looks, I am with you on the looks. He needs looks. But the thing, uh, another thing is, is that Fonz is also in that in that pool of people that all kind of. Sound like there is no it factor on a lot of them. Mm. Fonz winning this whole thing Would could be. make him that it factor. You get what I'm saying? It's it's just he has to find it, hone it, and give us that sit. Whatever you did in that second round, mm -hmm. that was it. Mm -hmm. You got to keep that consistent, or at least stretch it out where it's going to be debatable every round. Okay. Um. That okay. And as far as Kruger goes, mm. um. He has to have that. Uh, he it, for some reason he is missing that it factor. Yeah, I'm gonna say the same thing. It's the it's the factor. Like I, I'm his pen is there. Mm -hmm. I really feel like his pen is there. His aggression is there. He called um, you out too. And, uh, yes, he did. And uh, you know he, that's he why. He called you out. I, I, I love this. I love this. I love this. I love it too. I love it. I love but it. The, uh, but my uh, my critique for Kruger is you gotta find like you gotta find that niche that. That makes you you. Like okay. you gotta find like a nice like I like the slogan. Um, and, uh, but but you know what I'm saying? It, it gotta like I don't know. It has something has to come after that. You know what I'm saying? When you hear f the preview, let's let that beef brew in 3D too. So it's showtime. Everybody say the slogan, but you know it's about to be some heat after that. The fa um he gonna be punching them so hard the fans gonna be screaming get off the. You know it's some heat coming after that. So when you saying. Your slogan, Kruger, it got to be the best shit that is going to be in all three of the rounds. I'm going to leave it at um, I feel like... Butterfly going to reach Sorry, my bad. Every time I hear you yeah, say yeah. it, it's cool. And I feel like... <laughs> um, I feel like uh, with Kruger, um, he's got dope punches. Um, some of the transitions could, use a little, could be a little sharper. Like some of the transitions, like... When you're going from this set of bars, you have like pockets of bars. You'll have like an eight here, mm -hmm. a four here, a six here. Mm -hmm. Like some of those transitions could be a little bit more worked on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're just punch, 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 it's cool. But when those punches, like he has some crazy joints in there. Yeah. I'm not going to front. Like his first, he had some heat. I felt like his first, after the first, I was like, man, Kruger, he about to have, a, he about to have an easy day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Fonz, you made me feel like he was going to have an easy day after the first. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking like that too. Oh, yeah, yeah, talk dirty. Job. 
I thought, nah, nah, it was nah, I needed more. But after the first, I mean, after that second, mm. sweet baby, mm. my boy, he took it. My boy took it home. Uh, I'm gonna keep this up here for you, Fonz. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep this up here for you. Shout out to uh, referee Nelson. Mm. Shout out to Cleveland. Cleveland don't never get a lot of love, but Cleveland, yeah. Um, let's let's go to the. All right, so I'm gonna get. Let's get I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna just go with uh, my Brooklyn hands, big hand. This nigga's from Philly, so I know he's gonna go left with it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just keep it right. Mm -hmm. Um, big hand versus uh, Brooklyn hands. Uh, I felt like. Brooklyn Hands first round mm -hmm. was fire. I like his first round. I like the you know he had the, the Mary the Jesus he had that mm -hmm. joint. Uh, he had a lot of dope joints in his first. I feel like at times like Brooklyn Hand, I feel like this nigga literally. I don't think he. I don't think when he's not battle rapping. I don't think this nigga watches battles. I don't think this nigga watches no recaps, mm -hmm. no predictions. I think this nigga literally just comes. Battle raps his opponent and goes back to his world, yeah. which is fine. But he's like a poetic, methodical, like this, 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 and it was fire in the first. Um, Big Hand was a little physical, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like in the, in the first, I mean, but I like it. Hey, if a nigga gets snuffed, I'm cool with it. Hey, look, look <laughs> knock that day. I'm good, I'm, but don't fuck the money up. But anyway, I'm good with a little pushing every now I'm, and then. I'm, I'm good, good with, with pushing, that, right? No snuffing. So, I'm good with the pushing. But he came right out the. Like, if you're gonna push somebody, mm -hmm. you know, if you're going through your bars and you give them a little nudge or something like mm -hmm. that, that's cool. But no, you hit me, I hit you first. Like, that was kind of wild. Like, yeah. he just came right out the gate and was like, I said, hey, yo, they set me up for this, but poof, now I gotta hit you back. I'm like, why did you do that? Like, he didn't have to do that. Yeah, you know I, all right, so. In the same sense. But overall, I did feel like Big Hand won the battle 2 1. I felt like Big Hand took the second. And clearly, I felt like he clearly got the third. But that's just my personal opinion. I got no dog in the fight. Now I'm going to give it over to my boy because I know he's about to go. Just Listen, go. I'm, I'm not saying that the fix was in. Cleveland. But there was there was a robbery in, on site. I'm not going to lie to you. Granted, uh, even if Big Hand did what he did, as far as, you know, being a little too extra, if y'all want to call it extra. Brooklyn Hands was already in that type of energy. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? The, 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 the problem is that when you have two big niggas in a room mm -hmm. and, like, there's going to be tension between both of them, like, it, it, you expect some type of scuffle. You expect right. something because the problem with being so... Real is you ain't got to prove it to nobody else but yourself, but your pride mm -hmm. is what throws everything out the window mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And at that moment Big Hand was in character and uh, Brooklyn Hand's pride got in the way. It was like, alright, okay. you know what I'm saying? I'm not about to let you just push me. No, none of that. You get what I'm saying? Like, I felt as though that that Big Hand was trying to match the same energy that Brooklyn Hands already had. And okay. Brooklyn Hands took it as, oh, we can go left with this. Yeah. Now, scuffle goes down. First round, I'll say Brooklyn Hands. First round, I'll say Brooklyn Hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second round, because I felt as though that Big Hand needed that energy. He needed that nice little scuffle back yeah. and forth. Because for some reason, Big Hand was on you now. Mm -hmm. I, I, no, I don't care. And then it got to the point where I'm not even talking to you no more. Right. I'm telling y'all how this nigga trash. I'm gonna put this nigga in the bag. I'm gonna have this nigga mad. And you know what? I ain't gotta look him in his eyes. Cause this nigga, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be mm -hmm. that type feel. And I like that. Third round, uh, uh, third round uh, with Big Hand is that I like the most is he had an angle. Mm. I just felt as though Brooklyn Hands didn't have carefully crafted material for Big Hand. Right, right, right. Big Hand had material, even if, even if Big Brooklyn Hands was never working at Amazon. <laughs> we now believe that. Like yeah. now we can see Brooklyn Hands That's mad shit as with that with, with that vest on. Like I can see that. You know what I'm saying? That is why I say That's that Big Hand, true. like more of an impact, who was the most impactful in that battle? It was Big Hand, who had the better bars in the second and the third round. I felt as though it was Big Hand. But it's Brooklyn really Hands funny. did have some heat, and Brooklyn Hands won. Mm okay. Mm -hmm. What do I got to say about that? It ain't, it's going to be Brooklyn Hand versus, we're going to talk about that too. Versus, uh, who? Versus Ace I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. 
We're gonna uh, split the box. Let's just spin the blocks. Let's just keep it going. Let's last, keep it going. Last battle on the card. Is Don Marino versus Easy to Block Captain. Now, what I will say about this one is uh, <laughs> a lot of people had Don Marino picked to win this battle. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. A lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, me, you included. Me, yep. you. It was unanimous over here. Yep. yep. Uh, so, we'll do it like this. Uh, Don Marino's first. A lot of people was like so so on the angle joint. Like he got he used the angle the whole first round. Pretty much a lot of the first round using the angle. Easy to block captain comes out real life reality bars going at him, you know what I'm saying? He kinda like downplayed Don Marino's Mexican bars in the battle. Mm -hmm. He downplayed his struggle, you know what I'm saying? He hit him with a um a line about, you know, you was born here, you're not even eligible to get deported, mm -hmm. shit like that, shit like that. Uh I felt like Easy to Block Captain had a really good strategy mm -hmm. and he just out aggressed. Um and he just like real real talked them out. Now, Don Marino had bars. I liked his third round a lot. I liked um I like Don Marino's rounds, mm -hmm. but he started to lose wind towards the end of his third. Mm -hmm. And you could tell he was kinda gassed. Mm -hmm. And where he was gassed was where Easy the Block Captain was picking his shit up. And it's like with Easy the Black Cat, a lot of people ain't really seen him like that. So when you got that element of surprise and he's barking on you and he's like, you know, dickhead and all this other shit, like he's really giving it to him. And I just felt like for Don Marino, to me, he should have won. I'm not saying that he should have won, like he won the battle and lost. When it was over, this is the only real battle where I felt like in my mind, mm. I picked the winner and that was the person I was with. Like mm. I was going with Easy to Block Captain mm. and I didn't have, yeah. and I just was waiting for everybody else to say yep. Easy to Block Captain, well, Easy chat, to Block Captain. The chat you know was very one-sided. So I, I feel like this was probably the clearest one, mm -hmm. um, but like, I don't know, man. I, I just don't know. Like you can't, you, you can't have a stage set up like this to where, you know, the stakes is this high and then you like, these are two minute rounds, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And you kind, he kind of got gassed at the end. It's like, if you're getting gassed at the end of two minute rounds, standing in front of like a Tay Rock or standing in front of a Geechee Gotti, even though he did it on the other job, but mm -hmm. I'm talking about on the URL stage. Yeah. Standing Big in step. front of a Calico, standing in front of a Shotgun Shoot. Like Don Marino ain't really had none of the opponents that bigger names yet. So when you put them big names out there, what are you gonna do when you start battling against real stars? I think that uh, it was an opportunity that he could have won uh, he didn't, to me, this is the only battle I feel like he didn't win. Mm. But anyway, Philly, I'm going to let you talk. What's up? There's a reason why I have this, uh, this hoodie on, you know what I'm saying? Got to represent Philly. All right, now, last battle, I was on the Philly side. It was Philly bias. I'm saying I'm going to take big hand over Brooklyn hands. And I, you know, it's the rivalry, things like that. But needless to say, big hand didn't win. Okay. So I felt a little down. I felt Philly wasn't going to be in this tournament. Right. And then easy to block Captain. Came out of no where like right. like i mean easy, the thing about easy to block captain mm -hmm. he was in a lose lose i mean he was in he was in a, a lose lose situation if you lose you're back down to the bottom of the barrel you're probably going to be doing one sks right. on other places you know what i'm saying but if you win this battle and make it to the next round nah we probably can still count him out he's probably going to lose against so and so but if he if he I think the thing that Easy to Block Captain made known is that he is here to play. Mm -hmm. The energy I felt was your Briz Rosty. The Ooh. energy I felt was your K Shines. Mm -hmm. The energy I felt was Showtime SP. The it, nigga, when I tell you, it didn't matter what Easy to Block Captain would have said, bro. Mm -hmm. That energy alone was worth $25,000. Mm. And that is the one driving force that I feel like Easy to Block Captain, he can make it very far in this game, but the problem with Easy to Block Captain is, I just don't think he's as lyrical. The real rap is cool, the real, I love it. He had me crying when he said, tell the truth, Don, your, kid, your, uh, your daughter, 10 years old, she's still sitting in the stroller. Yeah, bruh, <laughs> cause I can see her feet dangling in the straw. It's hilarious, you know what I'm saying? That energy alone from Easy to Block Captain, I was like, ah, it's gonna be hard for Don Marino to beat that. And for the fact that Don Marino had bars, it just was the in that battle, the bars wasn't enough. Mm. Man, um, man. So, all right, uh, you got that, you got that. Um, 
pretty much everything wrapped up. Mm -hmm. Who wins next week? Easy Black Captain versus Fonz. I, that energy level. If 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 Easy the Black Captain keeps that same energy level, he has a fighting chance. But Fonz also has that same energy too. Right. Like that that when we going by energy. I don't know, man. Fonz is spooky. If Sp if Fonz can give me that second round like all the time, I, I'm gonna go with Fonz. Mm -hmm. But if Easy keeps that same energy, I'm still rocking with Easy. Yeah, if that one I'm that I'm down the middle on that one. I'm gonna go with Fonz. 2-1, and I'm going to go with Ace Amin, 2-1 versus Brooklyn Hands. Yeah, I got Ace Amin winning that one. Man. Yeah. I just yeah. felt as though that, yeah, Brooklyn Hands is lyrical. Oh, and oh, uh, a plus about Brooklyn Hands is that he is a staple in the game because look at all of his, the people that he called his peers. Mm -hmm. They ain't the regular, they ain't the PGs, they no. ain't, no, nah, it's, it's the GOATs. Like, you know what I'm saying, the legends, stuff like that. So. When I hear Brooklyn Hands, I hear a lot of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely hear a lot of math. Mm -hmm. I definitely hear a lot of math. The scheme-wise, like with Cortez, like I could see a lot of that with Brooklyn Hands. But if he's going to use those type of tactics and those type of schemes against Ace I Mean, Ace I Mean might have a chance to, to slide past him only because he's more lyrical. But you got to slow down, Ace. Slow down, cause you was about to let that you was about to let bad news beat you. Keep that chip on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Um Like I said, give me Ace I mean. Cleveland, I'm still rocking with you. Uh what wait, 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 one one second though. Um mm -hmm. Loso versus JC. Let's oh, talk about that before we get out of here. What's oh, up? Where oh. you going with that? I've been waiting on that one too, man. Um, I'm gonna go with JC. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. gonna in a nutshell, I'm gonna go with JC. I'm not a fan of this battle because it's basically the battle of the light skins. But no, I'm just playing. No, uh, I, I just feel as though JC is gonna be a little bit more lyrical. JC has been sitting. Mm. Only thing JC been doing is gaming and vlogging. So I know he's sitting on some potent stuff. Whereas Loso has been working. He's done the two on two with A Ward. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then like the last physical battle that we've seen from Loso that was this year. Um, uh, uh, from um, from uh, the two on two, they did another two on two right. with Avery with, uh, with uh, Geechee and uh, B Dot. So, with the conditioning and all of that, I'm gonna say JC. But did you see what uh, the extra battle that was on the sterilized card? Mm hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. KCJ versus Coffee Brown. Man, that battle gonna be thicker than cold peanut butter. That battle won't have more yams than Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The roof is on fire. Oh, oh, oh. The roof, the roof mm. is on fire. Listen. I like that one. Um, yeah. But the bars is going to be there too because yeah. both of them can rap. I'm just Give saying. Give me that one, two, one either way. I don't yeah. know what I'm doing Oof. with that. I don't know. K uh, I, I want to say KCJ, you, buy, you, you had uh, the body of the night on that royalty card. And on that same night, uh, Coffee Brown battled a goat. Cortez is a goat. I don't care what I say. You know, right, he's right, an right, underrated right. goat. But you know that. Needless to say, Coffee has more seasoning versus Misfit, as well as a, as a female goat too. The seasoning wise, it could be. It can. It can get. It can go either way on that one. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna jump out the window. I don't. Nope. I ain't gonna jump out the window. Nope. I'm gonna hold that. I'm gonna hold on to that one. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. I'm gonna hold on to that one. Man, man, man. Other than that, salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. RiceGangClothing.com, rest in peace to George Floyd Thanks. and all of the other blacks that were taken out by police within the last month. Also rest in peace to uh, Brooklyn Hands, grandfather we spoke about before Thanks. the battle Thanks. started. Um, and we're just going to keep this thing moving, you know what I'm saying? Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back in a second. Slim Nick Infinity, don't need you to confirm what I'm finna be I can wind and dine with my enemies I can show the blind what I get to see I can teach the why something interesting Change the paralyzed, it's not feeling me I can close the fine identity Licks the poem sip as I wrote Just another nigga different, I know Learned to love my roots as I grow Many want a noose on my throat The last of a dying breed Ready 